What up YouTube? Today I got a special treat for you guys. Today we're gonna be making a personal size pepperoni pizza and the total calories for this personal size pizza is 380 calories. So this whole pizza is only gonna be under 400 calories. That's it. The macros are 44 carbs, 35 grams of protein, and only seven grams of fat. I know everyone gets those cravings, and currently I'm on a cut. You know, we're trying to get uh, shredded for the summer, so I'm on a cut right now, and I, I get cravings for pizza. Everyone gets cravings for pizza because who doesn't love pizza? Like, come on. So to cure that pizza craving, instead of blowing your whole macros and just forgetting about the diet, I'm gonna show you a way that you can get rid of your pizza cravings and replace it for a healthy alternative like this. But it still tastes just as great, I promise you guys. Let's get into it. All right guys, so first what you're gonna need is some flat out rosemary and olive oil artisan thin pizza crust. This is gonna be the crust obviously for our personal size pizza. For this whole slice of crust, it's only 120 calories. This right here is what makes this whole recipe. You can get this at your Walmart, your, your local food store, anywhere. Next up what we got is some turkey pepperoni. The reason we get turkey is because it's 70 less fat right there, it just says it right there. This whole serving, which is one serving of turkey, is about 30 grams, only about four grams of fat in this, so we're gonna be using this. Next up what we got is some fat-free mozzarella cheese. The nutrients on this are just literally amazing. You can't even beat them. Zero fat, two grams of carbs, and nine grams of protein per serving. So we're gonna do two servings here of this fat-free mozzarella cheese. So what we got is 100 grams of bell peppers because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some veggies in it because it's always good to get veggies in. We also got a fresh spring mix of veggies. I'm also gonna add that into the pizza. For sauce, for our base, we're just gonna go with some traditional, authentic, man. You can't go wrong with the ragu. So we're gonna do one serving of this ragu and then we're gonna put that on the pizza. This is what we're gonna go with. This is just a traditional sauce, there's no added seasonings in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in some parsley flakes, some granulated garlic powder, not too much, some onion powder as well. And that's just gonna make it taste good. So stir it up. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. Now we're gonna be baking this in the oven and since I don't have any pans at the moment, I'm just gonna use some regular aluminum foil and we're gonna spray the uh, aluminum foil with some pan spray. Now we're gonna take our thin crust pizza. So, we're just gonna put one right here. Sauce is about done. So we're just gonna take a, a big enough spoon so we can just scoop it. And honestly, you really don't even need all the sauce, but. So we're gonna take our peppers here. We got 100 grams. Not really sure if I'm gonna use it all, so. This is just gonna give it a nice crunch, nice flavor to it. Some of the spring mix on. Next up, some mozzarella cheese. We got two servings here, so this is gonna be a pretty cheesy pizza. And next up is the pepperonis. All right, and that's all the pepperoni. So now the last step is to, well, before the last step, what I sometimes like to do is I'll take a little more ragu. So now the last step, we're just gonna put this in the oven and let the cheese melt. Maybe let the crust harden a little bit, get nice and crunchy, and then we're pretty much done. Literally guys, this just took me about 10 minutes and that's because I'm you know, showing, going through and showing you guys But if this is me just trying to make it, I could probably make this in about 5 minutes So, let's put it in the oven We're gonna leave that in the oven for about 10, 5 to 10 minutes Just enough for the cheese to melt and the uh, pepperoni to crisp up and the crust to crisp up So, yeah Alright guys, so the oven was on broil and it's just about done It's only been about 3 minutes, so sooner than I thought Guys, let's put the 
pizza looks like? Just looks great, man. Oh my God, so good. You guys gotta remember, this is only just under 400 calories. This is great. So as you can see, we have our pizza here. I'm sorry I don't have any fancy plates to show it to you guys all, but get it out. It's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this because I'm hungry and this is why I made it. So just wanted to show you guys this treat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Sharing to you guys the foods that I eat on a diet. Uh, I thought you guys would really uh, enjoy watching what I eat and stuff like that. The key is to work smarter, not harder, right? So as always guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.